Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be building a bunk bed and a possible desk underneath it. Very cheap, great for kids, great for college kids. If you have that college kid that just won't leave the house and you can't afford them anymore, set them up with one of these. Workstation underneath, bed on top, save space, and they're super cool too. This one here was built for under $50. Uh, and if you do like a double bunk, you could probably do it for about 70. So that's better than any price on the market. And you're going to get it the way you want it. It's going to be awesome. Let's get to it. So what we're going to want to do now is lay out our wall where we want our bed to go. Need about five to six foot of clearance. Uh, you can also butt it to a corner for added stability. So I'm going to set the height of my bed at about five foot. Five foot ensures that you can use the under portion still as a desk comfortably with headroom. Also gives three feet from the bed to the ceiling, so you should be good to go. And we're gonna go ahead and make a mark at our five foot height. Now I'm gonna find the studs to secure my plate to. You can do the knock test. Most uh, outlets or switches have a stud next to them, so you can find them that way. One's hollow, one's not. I know there's a stud right there. And one on this side. Generally studs are 16 on center. Let's get those leveled and marked out for you. Now, I've provided a material list and the count needed and the sizes of the boards you need to cut. It's 15 cuts, about $20 worth of lumber. So we're gonna flash that up there and you can kind of screenshot it and uh, make the cuts, then come back. Now when you go to select your wood, you only really need four two by fours that are really pretty. Um, sometimes you can go to the two by four aisle and this is premium wood. Sometimes they sneak some like spruce in here and it gives it this reddish tint. So building out of two by fours can be finished quality uh, as long as you get pretty stuff. Next, we're gonna take our frame, our two sides, these are the two 79s, and the two best looking 38s to do all the edges. And when we lay these in here, we're gonna lay the 38s inside of the 79s. So the outside board should be the 79 on both sides. Take a little bit of wood glue. There we are. Now I'm gonna use these little fancy non-wood splitting screws. It says so on the box that it won't split your wood without pre-drilling. And they got these little fancy pan head on with a star bit. Uh, I thought they were pretty cool, so we're gonna leave this as a finished product. Little glue. Perfect. Now we're gonna lay our other 38s inside the frame. Flat. I like to put the ugly side up here because the child will be able to see from down below. Like so. Now if we get our measurements right, before we screw them down, we'll make sure the bed is square. Now you can push the two ends all the way to the side and scare those down. All right, now we're ready to find out where we're gonna put our middle braces. A few more measurements for you. Just pick from either end. Go 19, 39, and 59. And that's gonna be the center of our frame studs. 19, 39, 59. Let's get those put into place and screw them off. Once you add your glue, go ahead and screw them on. Now we do the other side. Done. Our frame is looking awesome. Now we're ready to get started on the ladder. We take our two 63 and a quarter inch pieces. This is what's going to make the difference between your project being cool and your project being lame. So, we're going to put our two ladder boards together, put the pretty sides to the outside. So, if you do have any flawed sides, make sure you put them to the inside of the ladder. Just looks a little better. 
So from the bottom, we're gonna measure up. I got my boards clamped together, just so the measurements are gonna be the same on both boards. A mark at one, two, three, and four foot. Square off that mark. Now we're gonna use a two by four block as the guide. And we're gonna make sure from the bottom that our two by four is gonna be the top of the step. So if you're laying it out the way I am, the left side of your two by four is gonna be on the right side of your line. Mark. Now we're gonna take a skill saw and we're gonna measure the depth and set the depth for our saw blade. We don't want it to go any farther than an inch and a half in. I'm ready to cut. Now we're gonna cut through our board an inch and a half deep about a quarter inch all the way through the notches so we can bust that out of there. Take a little hammer to reveal a pretty decent notch. Now you just chip out the excess. Once that's removed, now your ladder rung is gonna sit right down inside. Now let's do the other three. Once we've got those notched out, we're gonna notch the back of the ladder so your little notches are gonna be down. And we're gonna mark out where this would fit over a two by four. Just like that. Perfect. I like to 22 these edges to go down. Now let's assemble the ladder. Let's go ahead and glue the notches. Then we can get these screwed off with one screw. Start at the bottom, we'll do our bottom and our top. Beautiful. Let's get to installing. Here's our mark, 63 and an eighth off the ground. And I'm sure you can put yours at whatever height you want. This is going to be my finished height of my bed. I'm gonna lay that up there, and then I'm gonna mark another line right underneath it. This is the finished height on our lower mark. And it looks like I am level. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it off. That's not going anywhere. Next, we're gonna take our frame. We're gonna put the flat side down. Lift it up onto the wall. And slip your ladder underneath. So I'm gonna attach our bed to the wall just for safety's sake while we're doing this demonstration. Um, if you are securing your bed to the wall in the same manner, you're gonna wanna use a lot longer screws, probably like uh, maybe a four and a half, five inch lag bolt. If you're going into a corner and you can attach this end and the backside, you can just throw one ladder in the corner and that be sufficient support. You can also take rope and put some screw eyes in there and tie it to the ceiling. There's tons of ways that you can get totally creative with this. The two ladders are super cool. It looks like uh, for six more bucks you could make you one more ladder. So you could do the two ladders in front, two ladders on the side. You could also put a desk up underneath um, or you can do another bunk bed underneath. You can really get creative with these. Um, a pallet headboard, even closing it off to the ceiling with a pallet would be a good idea. I for one like the ladders on the side idea with the desk in the middle. I'm going to show you how that works. Side by side ladders is kind of cool. Now when we do decide where we're going to put our ladder, we're going to want to set it up there, make sure it's supporting your structure, drill through the ladder and the bed frame so we can put a long bolt on there with a wing nut. That way we can move it whenever we want. What makes this particularly awesome for kids or college students 
is you can even throw in a little desk option. Throw this little fancy cut board up here, level it off. You got about a 27 inch desk height. There we are. One more on the other ladder on the other side makes a perfect desk. You could also uh, plate it to the wall like you did up above on the bunk. So this is sweet, little workstation, sleep up above, and then you got this whole area to roll. This is where you can actually customize it. You can put cubbies up here, cabinets down below, uh, stain them, paint them. Um, this is actually a bifold door, and um, this is like 35 bucks. So this model right here, of course, without bedding and everything, uh, cost about $60 to build. You know, you can make these pretty cool. Maybe like under cabinet lighting where they can just hit a touch sensor and it comes on. And that looks pretty awesome as well. You could build a little handrail, uh, galvanized pipe, whatever. It's kind of your bed and that's where you take it to and customize it for your own needs. So for Home Ender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.